nagsubmit na ba kayo ng position paper? Uh, PNP? Yes, sir. But uh, we submitted it through channel uh, yesterday afternoon, sir. We submitted an advance copy to the Directorate for Plans of the Philippine National Police yesterday so, afternoon. So your, your, your uh, position paper uh, took into consideration both the two bills, yung House bill at saka itong Senate bill, na consider nyo doon? Uh, uh, I think we only concentrated on the uh, draft copy which came from the office of the uh, your officer. Ah, okay, okay. Okay na yun. Yun na yun. Yun na yung uh, bill na yun. So, yes, sir. Ne never the, nevertheless, sir, uh, we, the PNP had already submitted its position paper but uh, it went through channel, sir, and it was signed, I think, by uh, uh, the director for plans. Okay, thank you. Uh, before we continue, I would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Aimee Tolentino. Ma'am, you want to say something, ma'am? Senator Aimee? Aimee, 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 Aimee Marcos. <laughs> Confused ako, ma'am, sa dami nating hearing ngayon. Aimee Tolentino. <laughs> Sorry ma'am, sorry. Kasi kayo lang kasi yung palaging uh, mga BFF ko na palaging andito sa kumbiting hearings ko eh. Kaya na-join ko na yung pangalan yung dalawa. Senator Amy Marcos pala ma'am. Pasensya ka na. Uh, go ahead ma'am, we have the floor. Type na rin. Thank you very much uh, my good chairman. Uh, Natakaramta na. Pare-pareho na kami. Hindi malamang kung saan pupunta muna. Um, while... Uh, there has not been much emphasis given to the private security industry. The truth is, it's of utmost importance to all of us. Um, today, we are most concerned about the um, citing of the International Civil Aviation Organization about the NAIA airport and other airports failure to maintain and carry out effective security consistent with the standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization. Medyo kabado tayo dyan at saka meron pang uh, sinasabing uh, turf confusion dahil yung DILG may SOSIA, samantalang yung DOTR may OTS, sino nga ba ang talagang mamumuno dyan? Of course, the other concern is our extended coastline, the seaports and maritime vessels that are responsible uh, for the coverage. And once again, there's a level of... Uh, confusion as to whether it is the PNP Maritime or the Philippine Coast Guard to undertake training and uh, supervision. So, ito yung lang yung uh, nais natin malaman. And I'd like to manifest also to the committee that uh, perhaps we should restore the disqualification clause not provided by uh, um, Senate Bill 8783. Dati kasi... Nandyan yung section 4 ng RA 5487 ng Private Security Agency Law. If you will recall, this is the disqualification of all elective and appointed government officials uh, who may be called upon to implement the provisions of private security. This includes employees by affinity or consanguinity in the third civil degree. I propose that this provision be restored when the new bill is crafted, Mr. Chairman. That's all. So, yung airport lang at saka yung ating mga maritime, medyo kinakabahan tayo dyan kasi nasita na tayo ng international organization. Thank you po. Thank you, Senator Aimee, for that comment. Uh, just to react on your comment, ma'am, yung regarding yung sinabi mong turf war dyan sa airport. Alam mo, chip in pa ako. Uh, we, we already felt that uh, problem. Kasi nga, sabi ng airport police na under sa NAYA, sila daw ang airport police. Ito naman sabi naman ng uh, uh, PNP, sila talaga ang aviation police. And uh, ngayon, tinanong ko sila, ang, uh, ang, ang kanila mga kanya, punto punto dyan, eh, si, um, ang, uh, yung airport police daw, ang basis lang nila is uh, executive order. While yung uh, Abyssion na security group ng PNP, ang basis nila is RA9165. So, Republic Act yung pinagbasihan nila. So, they are claiming na mas, uh, mas may weight yung uh, presensya daw ng uh, ABSICOM, ABSI group ng PNP. But anyway, uh, dapat uh, 
yung mga terp terp war na yan yung kanila mga uh, kung sinong mas uh, may karapatan dyan dapat uh, isang tabi nila for the sake of security ng ating uh, uh, facility na yan dapat mag-usap-usap sila para maayos yan para hindi tayo masingitan dahil pag uh, mayroong terp war uh, masisingitan talaga tayo dyan So, yun lang po, ma'am, uh, may, may yes, comment. Yes, tama yun, uh, Mr. Chairman. Talagang matagal na yung issue na yan. Kung maaalala pa ninyo, miski nung uh, assassination ni then-Senator uh, Ninoy Aquino, nagkaturoan rin yung uh, APSECOM at saka yung uh, ibang uh, airport police. Magulo talaga yung issue nun. So, kinakailangan siguro, eh, once and for all, uh, um, kunin na natin itong pagkakataon na ito upang uh, maisaayos yung management niyan. Higit sa lahat, nadadamay tayo, napapahiya pa tayo sa foreigners kasi sinisita tayo na substandard yung security ng ating uh, primary airport. So, these are the things that perhaps we can, we can settle and this is the opportunity provided us with these new bills. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, maraming sama. salamat, ma'am. Uh, uh, Colonel Spio, you're raising your hand, sir? Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Chair. Uh, Uh, I'm, I raise my hand again because uh, there is an the conflict between Republic Act 10591 and uh, the circular uh, being uh, uh, implemented by, uh, or required by the uh, by the uh, Central Bank of the Philippines. They have their circular requiring that all banks and even armored cars should have uh, firearms. Uh, one is to one is the ratio, and for the uh, armored car, is two is to one. Uh, can you comment on that? Who will comment on the PNP? General, Mr. Chairman, may I be recognized, uh, Mr. Chairman? Uh, General, Police Uno, Major Dawai. General Dawai, sir. Yeah, yeah, you have the floor, uh, Uno. General Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as far as uh, the firearms law is concerned, uh, there is no conflict on uh, the uh, issuances of uh, the number of firearms because uh, uh, even an individual can uh, possess and own more than 15 firearms, so much more for our uh, juridical entities. So. Uh, The only uh, requirement here, uh, Mr. Chairman, is that uh, they should abide with, uh, of course, the uh, uh, provision of uh, the law, which states that uh, it should, uh, they should just possess small arms, meaning to say these are the, uh, the type of firearms, because as far as uh, Republic Act 10591 is concerned, we have two uh, types of firearms, the small arms and the light weapons. Where in the light weapons, uh, these are uh, issued by, uh, to the law enforcement agencies like the PNP, the AFP. So uh, maybe if we could uh, incorporate this in, uh, in this uh, proposed bill, uh, Mr. Chairman, that uh, if uh, there are some uh, in uh, situations like this, we can uh, even uh, uh, issue uh, light weapons for special cases like uh, those who are providing uh, uh, security to armored uh, vehicles and uh, those who are escorting it, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Paul. Uh, General uh, Dawai, uh, anyway, uh, we will take that matter up in another, uh, maybe another measure, then uh, you are going to, to amend uh, 10591 pag uh, ganun ang gagawin natin. So, it was very clear. It was very clear during the last hearing yung uh, AK-47 controversy. Uh, I was informed by the PNP na R-18591 talagang uh, for security agencies, limited lang sila sa pinakamalaki na shotgun. Wala na silang high-powered na firearms hanggang shotgun na lang. So, if that is... Uh, That is, that's what the law requires, maybe maka-adjust naman yung mga security agency niyan. Bumili kayo ng magagandang shotgun na talagang uh, 
lumalaban kung kailangan lumaban hindi yung shotgun na na kagang-kagang na na uh, walang silbi ako pag gamitin mo ako na palabanin mo ako ng uh, M16 tapos shotgun hawakan ko basta yung top of the line na shotgun I can guarantee you I can give you a good fight a fair good fight kung hawakan mo ako ng shotgun na maganda uh, that, that, that's, that's my personal opinion lang um, you, you may you may consider me an, an expert on that subject matter or not but uh, my personal position is uh, talagang uh, kung yan ang sinasabi ng batas uh, sundin natin at uh, bigyan natin ng magagandang uh, shotgun yung ating mga uh, mga security guards na nakadetail doon sa uh, escorting uh, services sa mga uh, armored van, armored vehicles. Mr. Chairman, may be by congress again, Mr. Chair. Uh, there are uh, also remedies, uh, Mr. Chairman, aside from, uh, of course, the equipment that they're going to use, they can uh, seek assistance uh, from the law enforcement agencies, uh, Mr. Chair. So that uh, especially so if uh, we are talking about uh, critical areas, they can uh, ask help uh, from uh, the police or uh, other law enforcement uh, agencies, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, no problem with that. Uh, security business naman is uh, everybody's concern. Hindi lang naman yan trabaho ng security agency. Hindi lang naman yan trabaho ng uh, police. police. Lahat tayo dapat magtutulungan pagdating sa bagay na yan. Any more? Sir, uh, Colonel Espijo, sir. Go ahead. You are raising your hand. Mr. Chair, you are uh, sir. Mr. Chair, the reason why I uh, presented the issue or conflict between 10591 and our proposed bill that there should be a one is to two. Uh, as far as the the uh, 10591 is concerned, it is very specific that that uh, a security guard, a juridical entity, just as a security agency, should provide a uh, firearm for two uh, guards. However, there is a, the central bank has a circular which says that uh, which requires that the bank security personnel should have one firearm each and they are only functioning or working for eight hours to ten hours at the most. Uh, and in like manner, the the, uh, the armored vehicle uh, that that are being used to transfer funds are provided with security guards and uh, the security guards are not allowed to bring along the shotgun into malls or uh, walk around with the shotgun in the streets. They are requested by the mall security uh, officers to bring along only short firearms into the malls. Well, uh, I, I don't see any problem with that, siguro naman, sir. Pag, uh, ganun, ibig sabihin, pag uh, sinabi ng mga mall security na short lang pwede yung dalhin, Siguro, they, they can give you an assurance na wala mangyayari sa loob ng mall nila dahil nandiyan naman sila, nagsisecure. Ah, ganun ang premise niya nila. Kaya sila nagsasabi na bawal niyo ipasok yung, uh, yung shotgun dito para hindi ma to scare away uh, mall goers. Short lang dalahin nyo. Then maybe uh, we can do with that. Uh, I don't think there's a problem with that. But uh, anyway, uh, so, so gusto mo sir, pwede sila i-allow magdala ng shotgun sa loob ng mall uh, para gano'n? Mr. Chair, I'd just like to recommend that the Central Bank uh, representative should be represented here also. Ah, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, we, we invite uh, somebody from uh, Central Bank para, para ma-adjust na yung uh, circular nila. Kaya nga, pero meron daw circular coming from Central Bank. Uh, siguro PNP, uh, you can uh, also coordinate with Central Bank para mag-adjust nila yung kanilang circular. Yeah, yes, Mr. Chairman. You, you are the one regulating the security services, di ba? Security guards and security agencies. You, you are the regulating agency. 
So, so nakita niyo na nag naiipit na itong mga agency sa circular ng uh, Central Bank na yan, then it's your it's your it's your moral obligation to talk to Central Bank. Usapin sila na mag-adjust kayo sa inyong circular. Kasi hindi niya po pwede sa panahon ngayon. Parang ganun lang. It's a matter of coordination lang siguro. Kasi kawawa yung mga agency natin na iipit sa circular ninyo, then iba naman, sinusunod rin naman na yung R18591. So, coordination lang yan na uh, general daway. Yes, sir. We will do, uh, do that, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's your responsibility being the regulating agency of the security agencies to look out for their welfare. Tingnan niyo, ha? Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, is uh, General uh, Ramiro Busalanan, the President of Bank Security Management Association, around, sir? Andiyan ka, sir? Yes, I'm still around, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning. Yeah, uh, can you give a comment on that uh, on the points raised by uh, uh, General uh, Carol Espio, sir? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, we have... Uh, an armored car operations and we are under banks are under the regulations of BSP so tama ka sir na BSP regulated financial institutions not only banks all financial institutions for that effect and we have armored operations so it is uh, time and proper to actually resolve the issues by by this implementing rules and regulations if whatever the bill will be approved the association the base ma like other any organizations who are ably represented today will fully support the revision of this 5487 otherwise known as the private security agency that leads or the PNP that uh, will promulgate or a craft an uh, IRR for this effect sir. so we, we will we will wait for that time and will uh, assure you sir, that BSMA will be available on the con on the consultation phase during the promul promulgations of the rules and regulations this is how to implement the provisions of the law so it it can be resolved the issue the issue can be resolved through uh, dialogues through uh, through all stakeholders that will uh, talk on the IRR issues so we will we will we'll be all be supporting your initiative sir the purpose of this uh, legislation in all 100% uh, will support that sir thank you sir thank you sir maraming salamat for that uh, comment Anybody, anyone, anybody else who uh, want to share? Sir, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, you're uh, recognized, uh, sir. Uh, huh? Oh, sir, sir, uh, sir Bergado, you're recognized. You have the floor, sir. Sir Bergado. Nakamute ka, sir, nakamute. Please. Yeah. Uh, 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 good morning, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, go ahead. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I would just like to amplify what Colonel Espejo has posed or suggested with regards to the creation of what the personal security services escort. Now, we believe that there is no need to create another agency because if we see, if look at the definition of, of protective, protective services, services or, or repeat or, or repeat. Uh, security, security industry, it encompasses the aspect of protective services. Now, by creation of a special agency escort, it will create a legal implication, labor implication. Why? The, we know for a fact that escort services is not regular. They are, as a matter of fact, occasional intermittent. Now, in the meantime that there is no PIP, what will be their status? Whereas if they will be incorporated in the PSA, they can have three licenses. One is protective agency, a protective agent. One, another is a security guard, and the other is security officer. So there will be no 
in their in their services. So it will not create uh, what they call a labor implication. So, Mr. Chairman, we 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 will submit a position paper on this. Uh, this protective uh, what they call private personal security escort services agency should just be incorporated in the function of the PSA. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, sir, for your uh, very good point. Uh, we will consider that and uh, please submit your position papers. Uh, yes, we should, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Sir, uh, at this point, uh, with your indulgence, uh, tawag na ako nun sa kabila dahil nga sa baikam ng uh, very important measure yung uh, extension ng uh, uh, farm ng uh, uh, BTA, uh, Barm Transition uh, Authority, uh, tinatawag na ko sa kabila. Uh, sana masabitan nyo yung inyong uh, concern, yung inyong uh, position paper para before, uh, as I've said, before the session ends, uh, maka-sponsor na ako ng uh, uh, committee report sa plenary. Sir, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong presensya. Uh, pasensya na kayo. Very short lang ito ating meeting. At uh, I will proceed to the next room. Uh, okay na tayo, sir, for the moment. Maraming salamat, sir, sa inyong uh, pagdalo. Uh, the, the meeting is here by a John. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Pinaka-quickie na meeting yan. Bato. <laughs> <laughs>